This is a tutorial on how to take attendance using the iDossio app. When you have opened up your class, make sure you look on your right hand side if you are using the uh, turn, if you turn your sideways so you have the long ways, and if you have a vertical, your tabs are on your left hand side. You need to make sure that you are under the attendance tab in your class. There's a couple of ways you can do your attendance. The easiest way, which I'm going to show you first, is thus. When you're in your class, on your, on your attendance tab is starred, and you can see it up in the top left-hand corner. It says attendance. Click on the icon with the three boxes of uh, icon pictures in the top left-hand corner. You click on that, it's going to bring up your seating chart. That's your seating chart icon. From here... In the top left hand corner I see an arrow pointing left, right next to that I see a picture of a outline of a student with an information button on that. I press that button. When I push that button, this window pops up. Top left hand side you see a plus icon and then next to that you see the icon of a photo, out of a photo with a question mark. If you click on that it will bring up options to take attendance. This is your attendance tab. So right now I'm taking attendance for today. The bottom right hand corner says attendance 11-17. At the very top, it says attend all in green. If I click that, it's going to attend all students. Right now, it is showing that all my students are here with the green check mark inside the blue box. If I do have a student absent, all I have to do is just go over each individual student and double click them for the, showing that they are absent. So Kim is absent today, so I double click Kim and it shows that she is absent. The really neat thing about this as well, on the bottom left hand corner it will show a red dice for that day. So when I'm going through and doing assessments that red dice will pop up. When I'm done taking my attendance I press the outline picture in the top left hand corner with the X. When I press that it is done taking attendance and at the bottom it shows that the red dice is my attendance. If I need to go back and change I can press that icon again and now I see attendance 11-17 I'm going to scroll so that is now highlighted when that is highlighted I press done and it goes back to the attendance for the day if it does, a student shows up late like Kim shows up late I press and hold and I'm going to press the late button now it is showing Kim as being late instead of being absent if I did make an assent, atten <coughs> a mistake with my attendance, I can go through and double click any student and making sure that they're absent and they're through there. When I'm done again, I go up to the top left hand side, pressing that shadow icon X, and it shows me my attendance is done. When I go back to my page, now I have my attendance column, and it shows me who is absent, who is absent, who is he present, apologize, who is absent, and the icon for who is late. If I want to go through and do it this way, I can do it this way as well. From this page, I can double click the icon at the top. It's going to go through. I title, I'd have to input attendance aid. I go through my editor, quick attendance check, and I have to go through and also change here, <coughs> excuse me, to quick check. Um, I apologize, nope, we're just keeping it numeric. And I click there. And I double check and go through it. By this going this way, I'd have to click every individual student, and there's not really a fill all. So I'm going to actually delete this. Sorry, I apologize. Let me show one more thing. If I was going to do it this way, when I open it up, I'd also have to put in the date. So today's the 17th. I can click there, or I can click today, and it will put in today's date. This is a, a harder way of doing it than going through your seating chart, but it is a way of doing it as well. So I'm going to through through. I'm actually going to delete this one here because I don't need that one. Delete. And I have my attendance for the day. Really neat thing about this is when I if I take attendance every day, even though I'm an elementary teacher and I'm not required to take attendance, if I press and hold the student and pull up their data, <coughs> their information, I'm going to edit. It brings up all their information. And in the middle of this, at the bottom, I see data, annotations, and attendance. If I click attendance, it is now going to show me all the days that they were there, days that were absent, days that were tardy. So this student has been there 100% of the time. And so when I go through and talk about assessments and why a student is proficient or partial proficient or unsat, I can explain they are unsatisfactory and this skill level are at this standard because they are absent 90% of the time uh, that, that we have had class. So this is a great tool to use when talking to administrators or teachers or parents about why a student is achieving or not achieving the grade level that they need to be at.
And when I'm done, I just press done, and here we go. So again, that is attendance. If you have any questions, you can email me. My email is ndspencer at aps.k12.co.us, or you can leave comments at the bottom. Hope this helps, and have a wonderful day.